over your head. Keep your, out, keep your fists on your head, and I just want you to do cartwheels on your head and your elbow. See what kind of athletes we got in here. Just cartwheel on your head and your elbows, back and forth. Cartwheeling on your head and your elbows. I do this with my youth program. Just, just little, little person cartwheels here. I don't think we can say midget cartwheel anymore. <laughs> Dwarf. Not the Dwarf right cartwheel. There you go. Couple more. Couple more. Good, good, good. Say midget and you'll have the social justice warriors yeah, after you. There we go. Preseason, preseason stuff. We can just say Trump said it was okay, right? <laughs> All right, bring it in. I'm going to talk to you why we just did that. Now, so there's a lot of split the middle, what, what I call Iranian position when that guy shoots a single leg and we stuff and cover. So again, my mentality as the defender is always baseline defense. I'm thinking baseline defense until that guy makes me scramble. All right, when my baseline defense doesn't work, that's when I got to flip the switch to scrambling. But the beautiful part of scrambling versus baseline defense is I dictate how much I scramble. I dictate how much I get to my baseline defense. So I'm thinking baseline defense until it's not an option. All right, so in this position, we're going to rake with our forearm. We're going to reinforce with our opposite hand. And then all I'm doing is swinging and squaring right here, like I would normally in a wrestling match. Now, again, when I sprawl, legs back, hips in, I'm trying to read my t-shirt. I want you to read my t-shirt here, or my sweatshirt. So this is my sprawl. He fills this position, all right, and he's going to post and split. So when he posts and splits, watch how he gets his knees up under his body so he can split the middle, all right? So we've all kind of been in this position. Now, a couple things that either allow him to do this or don't. If his butt stays away from his chest, He'll never get the, the power to, to split, all right? And again, it was something I was talking to coaches about during the break. The way your body is set up, and the way I think about the body is, here's the engine, so this is all my power. My legs are the wheels and my arm is the steering wheel. Works just like a car. If I don't have one of those things on a car, can't go very far. No wheels, doesn't get anywhere. All I can do is steer the power. If I got the wheels working, then I'm in good shape. If I got wheels and power and no steering, I'm just I'm not going to be very efficient. So that's the way I want you to think about it as the attacker. If he's in on this single leg and I've got his head covered, which is what I'm supposed to do when I sprawl, okay? He's got to get his wheels working to get the engine and the power straightened out. So he's going to post and split so his knees come under his chest. There. Now he's got his knees in a position to where he can split. Now, when I sprawl and I square. I take the arm of the leg he's attacking and I just punch right in between his legs. I'm not putting my hand on the mat. I'm not grabbing anything. I just put my arm straight in between his legs. I, I refer to that as my anchor. So I rake the head. I stuff. Notice I'm always using both hands. Rake, stuff, and I'm stepping and I'm swinging and covering. When I get to this position, I'm sprawling. Big hip sprawl. Legs are back, he's attacking my right leg, right arm is jammed in between the legs, okay, right here. So I got a sprawl and I got an anchor. What my anchor does is help him from splitting and it keeps him out in front so he can't run the corner. When he runs the corner, we'll talk about that, but right now I'm just going to post and split. Now, when he gets ready to split the middle here, this low lift Iranian position, okay, I'm going to keep my, keep my anchor as he goes to split. And get me upside down, I'm going to go heels to butt, head to mat. Heels to my butt, head to the mat. Now, in this position, I keep my anchor. I'm trying to put my knuckles on the mat. I arch my back. Does everybody see where his elbow goes? When I arch my back, it goes behind his ear. And then I just cartwheel off and end up in this position. See how I kept my anchor right here in the crotch? Which is going to give me a second or two to attack back into this guy. Okay, you see some guys that are just so good at wrestling upside down because they spend time there. They're comfortable there. All right, we got to spend time wrestling upside down. It's going to happen to us. You're not going to go your whole wrestling career and never get split. Okay, so we're going to rake stuff cover, jam this anchor in here. This guy's going to be fighting hard for the split. The minute he splits, head to mat. Okay, head to the mat is going to continue to stretch and then I cartwheel off. Now. If I have a right leg attack, right arm anchor, I'm going to do a right-handed cartwheel. Left leg attack, 
left arm anchor, left handed cartwheel. That's all I want you to think about right now. And then we'll start talking about the momentum of his split, making our, making our position even better. Questions? Anybody need to see it again? We're good? One more time? All right. So I rake stuff cover, jam the anchor. He splits, head to the mat. You can post your hand, but don't flop off. Okay? Don't flop off. He's going to keep adjusting, and I just put myself on a hip, which is not athletic. Again, want to get to athletic positions. Okay, rake stuff cover, anchor set, he posts and split, boom, right over there. See how my knees are under me, feet are in the mat, I'm athletic. Now he might turn and face me here and wrestle. Okay, I got to get my hands on something so I can keep wrestling here. A lot of the end of these scramble positions are just going to be me improving and then wrestling through it like a leg attack. All right, my head to the mat, heels to my butt, cartwheel in the direction of the anchor I have. Go, let's get it. 